Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, a little bit more information concerning Mustang 5.0s. Um, things to uh, take a look at, things that I've come across, and I hope this might help some uh, fellow Fox Body gentlemen out. When you first get a Fox Body, one of the first things you want to do is you want to know what you have in the car. Uh, do you have a three a basic 302 stock? Um, do you have uh, 19 pound fuel injectors, uh, 24 pound fuel injectors? And let me just give you the scenario. Pick up this Fox body, and uh, I've been fighting like hell trying to get it to run right. I changed the ICM. I changed the mass airflow. Uh, checked electrical connections and it would always have popping in the intake um, I did change the fuel pump well from old paperwork you always want to make sure that you get as much information as you can from the previous owner you want as much information of any parts that have been changed the layout of the motor the type of heads that are on it uh, the size fuel injectors uh, the distributor, if it was changed, uh, anything that was done. In my case, um, I had a lot of documentation. I knew I was having a fuel delivery issue based upon a fuel pressure test. So, unbeknownst to me, me being dumb, uh, I replaced the fuel pump, but I put a stock fuel pump. Going through the paperwork, I realized from all the the stuff that was done to it was I had I thought I was thinking it was 19 pound for some reason in my head looking at the paperwork again I noticed that again 24 pound injectors in a, a you know 302 motor that's hopped up a little bit and it had 155 liter per hour um, you know um, fuel pump now also the mass airflow sensor was also a trick flow which I was thinking I was having problems with I was thinking the mass airflow is having problems I'm thinking all this other stuff I'm going all the way around the problems um, change out the ICM um, and still have them popping in the intake uh, and basically the runability problems were it was a hit and miss it would hit and then it wouldn't hit and, and basically if you have popping in the intake you are having a lean condition in the intake or the fuel delivery system whether it be a fuel uh, hose crushing uh, you're thinking vacuum but see vacuum doesn't just fix itself unless you got an IAC that's messing up um, I tried timing it time and time again. I tried doing 10 degrees, 16, 19, all the different stuff. I tried uh, changing the mass airflow to a stock style. I tried everything. Finally, after beating my head against the wall and having all my good friends that were kind of trying to tell me, and of course I'm being a knucklehead myself, um, finally looked at the paperwork again, did the math in my mind and realize that if you have a stock fuel pump it only pumps 18 gallons per uh, per hour and on a high flow or a 151 or 155 uh, liter per per hour it basically is pumping 41 which is a difference of what um, 21 23 uh, uh, gallons per per hour uh, and if you have so many uh, or so many uh, pounds of, of fuel injectors which is 24 pounds so you got this spray pattern that's higher and dropping into the motor and if you got a stock pump it doesn't pump enough to keep the supply once you you drop it down once you hit the throttle and then it's trying to level back out and the computer's going wacky 
and everything's trying to readjust and trying to keep it running and then it starts kind of dying and starts doing this weird stuff up and down and you're thinking it's timing it's timing it's timing well fuel injection on the fuel delivery system is part of your timing so if you have 24 pounders or bigger you definitely have to have a bigger fuel pump that's common sense I was just being a knucklehead and and um, and in short the main reason why I changed the fuel pump was due to a fuel delivery issue because the pump had been in the tank for so long the pump didn't fail it was the fuel hose in the tank that just totally disintegrated and while I was in there I was like well let me go ahead and change the pump while I'm in there well then I go to a lower gallon per hour uh, delivery which was causing all these other problems so I'm sitting here doing circles so basically always know what you have in your tank if you've got bigger than 19 pounds you've got to have a bigger fuel delivery or a pump that can deliver the volume or the amount of fuel to those injectors to keep that motor running um, whether it's under load um, whether it's idling because um, there's a lot of adjustments and also the mass airflow sensor um, and everything else you know you got to have known factors so you have to test and test and test but really that was the short um, the pump wasn't delivering enough um, it doesn't matter about timing if you don't have enough fuel hitting you know getting to the motor to those injectors to keep them opening and, and under load and, and just idling it's not going to run right I don't care what you do so just my little story if you have popping in the intake make sure your full fuel delivery uh, is over 30 you know uh, 40 if you pull the vacuum hose off the fuel pressure regulator which I also changed also um, make sure that when you pop that vacuum hose off if you have that style that it kicks up to at least 40 which means wide open throttle uh, or more um, so in short um, I put a substandard pump in um, in place of the high you know flow or liters per hour lesser of over 20 20 something pounds per hour or so many liters difference which would not supply enough fuel which creates a lean condition if you have popping in the intake you have a lean condition if it's the valve train if the valves are wrong or it's out of whack it would be a constant thing from uh, you know as soon as you start it up you always hear a clatter you always hear something going on so what you want to do is make sure that if that's not going on um, and you hit the throttle uh, and you have a fuel pressure tester on it you can see what's going on with that so after I changed the fuel pump I thought I was fine with a new hose with a lesser volume and basically in short it just wasn't delivering enough so it was a hit and miss up and down um, popping in the intake which is saying lean condition fuel delivery problem and um, I, I kept thinking it was ignition um, timing and stuff like that and that's not what it was and also when you start it up um, if the fuel pump and of course the fuel filter you got to change that out if you're having starting problems and it's not delivering enough fuel it's going to run like it's running on four cylinders it doesn't have enough fuel uh, another telltale sign of this was filling the temperature of the pipes or the exhaust coming out of each pipe so if one is cooler and one is hotter then that's telling you that there's an imbalance in your motor um, you need to find out why before you blow the motor blow a head gasket um, because fuel cools it down but if it's just hot all the time it may not be getting enough fuel um, to help uh, 
you know, delivering the motor. So I hope this helps you guys out there. Y'all have a wonderful day.